Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to Mountain Blade Viking Conquest. I spent a bit of time leveling up and building up our army a little bit, but now we're moving on to the main quest, and we have found the guy we're looking to talk to, this fellow Reginard, who apparently knows where, uh, uh who are we looking for? Uh, b -b 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 uh. ah, Theodard, yes. Alright, hey there, Reginard. What do you want? Merely to pass the time of day, foreigner, if you're not otherwise engaged. Ah, well, if you must know, I shall tell you. Not many people around here will listen to good old Reginard. Again, I, I have no idea what I'm trying to do if the voice is here. I was born in Dorstad. My life has not exactly been easy, but I was happy until my wife and two children died in a plague two years ago. What, what accent am I trying to do? I feel like I've drifted between English, Scottish, and Irish. And not particularly good at any of the free. I had a farm, you know, and I sold it because everything in it reminded me of them. Now I'm a drunk and an idiot and no one wants to be with me. Well, until you came along. Reginard the Fool, some call me here. Shit, I shouldn't even be here. They can never drink and tell me why you should not be here, Reginard. He takes the mead jug to his lips, drinks long, then he just looks at you. I'm not sure we have anything to talk about. I see. Something makes you nervous, my friend. Nervous? Me? No, mate. I'm dangerous. Oh, come on, Reginard. I'm legitimate. Tell me why you should not be here. He smiles again. Or he smiles, drinks again, and you see the meat overflow his lips and course down his chin. He belches. Not one for table manners, I see. When my family died, I joined the rebels. Tough and brave men who struggled to free us from the oppression of the Danish. I fought at their side, and I was happy because being with them, always be a, or always busy in fear and death, made me forget what happened to my family. So why are you no longer with them, my good sir? He pushes the jar aside and drops his head. I betrayed them, so I'm here drowning my sorrels and mead. They were my brothers, my friend. I sold one of my brothers to the Jarl of Kenemar for money. I sold Fyodold, our leader's brother. Now they want to kill me. And I'm awaiting my death as a betrayer. Damn that day I fell for the Jarl. Damned Jarl. What can you tell me about their leader, good sir? Theodard? Don't you know him? I cannot describe in words what kind of a man he is. The men would die for him. It is true. The Danish are afraid because they know that someday Theodard will raise an army of Frisians and throw them out of our land. I'm also pretty sure Frisians do not sound anything like the way I am. Given this guy's accent. How can I find them? You cannot find them. They do not want to be found. These men fear the Jarl. Fyodard only allows people he trusts to join. I'm trustworthy. Ask me anything you want. Oh, what's this? He seems not to hear you. Joy crosses his face as it's an idea that he has in mind. Look at me and listen. There are many people having a hard time during this rebellion. Particularly the many widows and orphans. There's a woman in Dorstadt who collects donations to care for these widows and orphans. Go see her and help. I think you're a good person, but show me. Talk to this woman. Her name is Ada. Or Ada. You can find her in the shop on the wharf. Make a donation in my name. Maybe this will help my people see me with different eyes. Hopefully you don't mind my attempts at giving these guys different accents. I'm terrible at it, but, you know, it... It adds a little bit of something, I guess. Makes all the reading a little more interesting, I think. Maybe. Anyway, um, is this the shop we're looking for? No, it's it's that one, isn't it? I make that jump. Gah! Ho ho! Pro uh, pro jumping skills right there. Alrighty then. So let's uh. Gah! Oh, I didn't even jump then. What do we have here? Spearmen and freeholders. I don't think they want anything to do with us, and they're just there for flavor. There's the armor smith down there, but we're not too worried about them right now. Oh, also, as you might have noticed, I have an axe now. I thought an axe would be better than a Psyax, so I bought it. Hey there, Ada. Welcome, sir. What can I do for you? A man sent me to see you. His name is Reginard. I know who Reginard is, and it's not a name that pleases me to hear. I have no time for people coming from him. Wait! I just want to make a donation to the widows and orphans in this town. Ah. Er, I did not expect this from Reginard. 
How much is your donation? We accept 100, 300, and 600 Peningas. Hmm. Well, I do have the money to afford this right now, so why not? It'll give us renown and reputation and stuff, no doubt. In fact, there it is. I mean, it's only nine, but yay. And it's also improved our relations with the town. Huzzah. He smiles, happy for your donation. Many people will be grateful to you and Reginard. God bless you. You mean Odin bless you? Yes, yes, indeed. Also, we could have just uh, done, taken the shortcut by doing this, so we don't have to wander the town. I also probably should have taken a moment to see exactly what our relationship uh, relationship is at now. Anyway, hey there, Reginard. An orphan came in to thank me for helping her family. My accent's changed a little bit again, by the way. You're a good person and a far strider. Even though I've never told you my name, I don't think. You've gotten me to feel less guilty and a little happier. I am a trustworthy person, as you can see. Now where are Theodor and his men hiding? Why? This is a secret I'm not willing to reveal. Hmm. Your secrets shall be my secrets, even if I have to beat them out of you. No, let's, uh... If we talk to Theodor about this, surely they will understand and forgive you. He looks at you with tears in his eyes. Oh, thank you, Ender Forest Rider. You're right. I need to help them. I'll join you. Theodor's hideout is in the mountains in the east. Let me show you the way. You're welcome. Let's get going. Ooh, I gained ten renown. Thank you, my friend. I know I'm rough. Thank God for people like you giving me a chance. I will earn your respect. You will discover that you can trust me. All right, get your stuff. Let's go. Good. Give me a few moments to prepare and I'll be ready to move. Ah, and Reginard has joined our party. Let's uh, move him up to the top, shall we? Looks like he's got spears and hopefully some other stuff. We'll uh, go take a look outside, shall we? Ah, we're liked by 15. Awesome. Alright, so before we move on, let's go back to our army tab and talk to Reginard to get an idea of what he's equipped with. Whoa! Give warrior rings and bracelets valued at 3,000 Peningas. Well, you haven't done anything to be that valuable, so you've got a hat, a tunic, some gloves. You have a spear and some javelins. Let's give you a shield as well, I think. I don't know if you need that CIX, say uh, Someday I'll determine exactly how that's supposed to sound. All right, where are we going? Ah, Feudard's hideout. Oh. We are known in the kingdom of Fries, where Dorstadt is the main town. Years ago, we Frisians were subjects of the Franks, but later a Dane became king. Well, really, Frisians do not recognize these kings have to accept their power. We prefer to live. Tell me more. Frisians are a reserved people. They like to be left alone to their affairs. The Danish are better lords than the Franks. As long as we pay taxes and accept their authority, they leave us alone. Many of us prefer our own government without the interference from either the Franks or the Danes. This is impossible as long as we are divided and unable to raise an army. Our Aethelings, our noblemen, prefer to serve the Danish. Without an Aetheling to lead us, the Freilings, the Freemen, are unable to organize. Perhaps our fate is to be dominated by other people forever. Hmm, interesting philosophies. Ah, uh, there. Good Theodard. Alright, let's go have a look. You need to rest or morale will suffer, huh? Uh... Okay, I think we have enough men, probably. A small camp stands next to a river. You see women and children between the cottages, watching warily. A number of men, few in number, but with an aggressive demeanor, come to meet you. A very tall man leads them. We'll talk to them. I do not know who you are, traveler, but my men are around you and will not hesitate to kill you if you keep moving. This is our land. Now come back the way you came. Are you Fyodard? My name is Ender Farstrider. I want to talk. Fyodard, I'm here, your faithful Reginard. Ender Farstrider offered to escort me so I could explain what happened with your brother. That man with you is Reginard? Damn, traitor! You are rather too bold to come here after what you did to my brother. First we'll kill your friends and then cut the blood eagle on you, as did your jarl to my brother. To arms, my men! Kill them all! What? what? God damn it, Reginard! Okay. Everyone, hold. Actually, um, follow me, everyone. Where are these guys? 
let's uh also uh hold your fire okay so they're there um movement orders fire wait for it fire at will Charge! I hardly know what's going on. Wait! Oh, there's some kind of error. Um... I think we're winning. We won! Yay! Um... How many did we lose? The fight was tough. Feodard's men fought like lions, but your troops managed to finish them off. Feodard's corpse is among the bodies of his warriors. You have done your part. All that's left is to loot Feodard's camp, located just ahead. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Kill them all, pillage and burn the camp. Um, we are not murderers, we'll let them live in peace. I mean, there aren't any warriors left, and we'd be a horrible, horrible person if we went and did that. We could loot it, though. Uh, nah, we're, we'll, we'll be peaceable about it. Ahead in a small camp, there are some women and children. The families of the rebels. They look scared, not knowing where to flee. Among these people are the wife and son of Feodard. It is a difficult choice. Maybe they will seek revenge in the future, but they aren't warriors. Yeah, we'll let them live in peace. Ah, we gained reputation for that. Jolly good. Ooh, we actually lost a fair number of men. And by that I mean we lost about six. Oh good, the Norse companion survived, though. He was our highest level guy. Oh, what's this? My god, my god, he's dead! We killed Fyodard! He hated you and decided to fight. He left us no choice. He looks at you if his shoulders slumped. He looks dejected. Yes, he did not listen to me. The Jarl deceived me, told me he wanted to meet Fyodard to negotiate peace, but Fyodard was smarter than I and told me it was a trap. I insisted, and his brother accompanied me in secret to the meeting with the Jarl. So, the Godi of the Arl sacrificed Fyodard's brother with the Blood Eagle. In case you're wondering, what is the Blood Eagle? The Danish call it the Bludiger Orn. They cut away all of the ribs from the spoin. Spoin? And then they rip out the living lungs to flap like eagle's wings. It is horrible. I hope you never see it. He died like a warrior. It's time to get going. The Arl of Kenimer waits for us. Ah. And he likes us more. He looks with grief. Uh, grief. Then you work for the Jarl of Kenemar. In the end, he got what he wanted. Fired bid full I read. One cannot fight fate. Beard is dead, and you are my new family. Died our wired Swahe Eosiel. Probably butchering the pronunciation of that. Fate goes ever as she shall. This is true. All right, back to Kenimer. Let's stop in Dorstad on the way. Just in case. Is there a tournament here yet? There is no tournament. There possibly never will be a tournament. I am sad. How are we doing? Ah, Reginard was wounded in all this. I haven't seen any thieves in a while either, so I'm kind of wondering what's going on there. I'm disappointed. I wanted to fight some thieves, get some more loot some more money. Oh well, let's visit the Lord's Hall. Oh, also. Uh, there we are. Look at look at all those Peningas we have. Alrighty then. Hello, Jarl. Hello, Ever Jarl. Hello, Ever Jarl. Ooh, here's the king. Hey there, boss. Oh, we talked to this guy? Wait a minute. There's a tournament going on here. Or, not a tournament, but there is a festival of... Festival. Uh, Gotrick? That's not who we're... Oh, that's interesting. These guys are brothers. We meet again, under Farstrider. I wish to welcome you to my hall on this suspicious occasion. I forget what I gave this guy's voice. Now, what is it? I have returned from the Theodard mission. Ooh, money. 
Ooh, 1,200 Peningas. And four Renown. And 300 experience points. Huzzah. I am very happy. The news of Theodore's death came before you. I must say that I doubted your abilities, but certainly you're smarter than I thought. Moreover, you have proven to be someone trustworthy and loyal. Take this money as compensation for your efforts. It is a pity that you didn't kill Reginard too, but I guess you need a pet in your party. However, I do not want him around me, so keep that right away when you come to see me. Okay. His eyes show joy and he pats you back with confidence, or pats your back with confidence, rather. Well, well, I must confess something. I've been waiting for someone like you for a long time. You are a person that can find solutions and accomplish what is ordered. That is very important. Sometimes I feel like I am surrounded by dolts. Now, there is a delicate subject I want to talk to you about. One that can make you rich. I don't care about wealth. I just want Sven. That much I know. But the two are related. Listen to the whole story and see for yourself. To be honest, I have the men to hunt Sven, who is near Dasinga. I'm hoping that you'll join us in his capture. However, we have a problem. The king, the king, my uncle, does not want to attack Sven Bullneck. He fears his master, Jarl Sigurd, called Snake in the Eye, one of the oldest sons of Ragnar, called Lodbrok in Norse, Harry Breaches. All These are all actual historical characters, by the way. These names mean nothing to me. Who are Sigurd and his father, Ragnar? Should I fear them? Ragnar Sigurdsson was a man who became a legend. A king who ruled part of Denmark and whose ships caused fear wherever they were spotted. Ragnar died years ago, but he had many sons, many of whom are invading England right now. Sigurd Snake in the Eye Ragnarsson is one of his oldest sons, by the Princess Aslog. He is now, he is old now, but still a man to be feared and a respected Danish Jarl. Yes, you should fear him if you do not have the support of a powerful king or Jarl. I can be that man if you help me. I am listening. Please continue. Here is the deal. Kill my unker, Knuger Hororek, Hemmingson, and I will take the kingdom for myself. Then I'll have the necessary resources and men to hunt Sven Bullneck and attack his master, Sigurd Snake in the Eye. Additionally, I will give you the title of Jarl in this land, plus the men and money to be powerful. Oh my. Ah, we'll be melancholic. Stay true to our nature. Every time I finish a mission for you, you invent a new one. Meanwhile, Sven it lives. Uh, he didn't like that too much. Oh wait, he actually did like that. The difference is that now you have earned my trust, and I ask for only one more thing. Kill the king and Sven will be yours. Hmm. Am I that obsessed by revenge? No, I believe in justice. No, you'll have to find another assassin. I'll hunt Sven Bullneck on my own. You're dumber than I thought. It's quite beyond you with your resources to find Sven. Even if you do, he will kill you easily. If you decide to change your mind, remember this. Knuger Horak Hemmingsen must die in public, in the sight of those who fear him, ideally at a feast. I do not care if you use poison or a dagger, but two things are very important. Firstly, if you are caught, do not mention my name. You must appear to be acting alone. Even beforehand, we should not be seen together. If we happen to meet, we must pretend not to know each other. Which is hilarious, because the Knuger is right in... Uh, this room as we speak right now. Secondly, and more importantly, do not get caught. Once you are done, do not come here. Hide in the mountains where Theodard's camp was, and I will send for you when things are calm and I am the king. If you are smart, you'll do it and leave Frege quickly. Otherwise, you will have to face the consequences. Very well. Hmm. Well. Let's see. Talk to Snake in the Eye, kill a king. Well, let's go talk to the king, who's right over there. Let's talk to... Who are you? Ah, yes, you're Gotrick's uh, wife. I feel Gotrick is... Uh, or Gotrick is probably the noble one. Yes, it is nice to see you, my good sir. By the way, did you know your brother is trying to kill the king? Yeah, I was pretty surprised too.
there. Uh, no, I don't want to have too many men. We're probably going to have to leave soon. Oh, what's this? All right, Ender Farstrider, you've seen who the Jarl is, and you know what he did. He only wants one thing, the power. And now he's using you to take it, as before he used me to reach my fjord. For him, we are expendable tools, and the Jarl of Kedemar will finish you off when you are either not useful or become dangerous, as he did with me. I need him to find Sven, Reginard. He looks over your shoulder into the distance. There are always other ways that do not require that we submit to the will of us, but we'll talk later. A rider approaches from Desinga. Uh oh. A farmer approaches, beating a squalid mule. He stops in front of you and takes a breath and shouts. Sven Bullneck is advancing on Desingo with three ships. Foncrick sent me to warn you. Jarl Hroldef Haraldson won't come. He has left us to luck. I will give the news to the other Jarls, but they are Danish and do not worry about Frisians. Please, we need your help. Save our people. The farmer kicks his mule and rides away from you. His desperate words, save our people, remain in your mind. An echo of distress. Okay, so we, we clearly need more men. And I can't recruit men now. Gosh darn it. Alright, to Dorstad. We have to go there anyway. Let's try to recruit as many men as we can. And we'll, we'll wrap this episode up by uh, taking care of this particular quest. Probably should have rested up, I suppose, before starting all this. Aw, oh, come on. Don't be that way. I need men, dash it all. No one's going to want to join here. I collected taxes from them. But we shall try our best. Hopefully. Uh, oh. Can't recruit here. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Alright. We'll want to make sure Reginar is up to full health. I mean, he's not the greatest fighter that we've got, but he's better than nothing, so... Yes. Uh... Well, I could probably hire men in the meat hall. Let's see here. We have the ransom broker. We have some veterans. Sure, I'm interested. Ooh. Need higher renown. Dash it all. Alright. Well, I guess we're going to have to fight this on our own, unfortunately. Ooh, let's see if we can loot the monastery on our way out. Or go to Dorham East. Maybe we can find some men there. And we've got 16 people, which is mostly all right. Ah, good. Recruit volunteers. Two freemen. Excellent. And they're Norse, not Frisians. I think the Norse are stronger than the Frisians. But Frisians can upgrade into cavalry, which may be useful eventually. Can we, uh, pillage the monastery? Apparently we can. Follow me. Hold your fire. Oakley Doakley, let's do this! For Odin! Fire at will, lads. Oh, wait. I should be using my staff. Charge! Kill the monks! And we'll <laughs> capture them and sell them into slavery. Which was a very popular pastime back in the day. Get, get back here, you. Come on. Hey, hey, stop running away, dash it all. Oh, did you see that shot? Come on. Uh. Oh, come on. Stop running, you're only making this worse. Also, where'd my stamina bar go? I thought there was a stamina thing. Ah. My goodness. I can't hit them. There we go. We are true sons of the north. And we got free monks. Yay. Ooh, look at that. Amber, ale, honey, boar meat, boar meat, beef, butter, butter, cheese, chicken. Ah, oh, our chicken's rotten. That's unfortunate. I should probably sell anything that can just go bad. Huzzah! Of course, that's pissed off 
<laughs> All the Christians. Blood and treasure. Those are your men with fewer scruples. Proceed towards Willowbroad. Or Willowbroad. Broad. Killing anyone in their path and plundering its riches. The fire and death sweeping the place are rampant. You plunder spoils of war worth 110 peningas. Excuse me. The majority of your troops are pagan and support your action. Glorious. Alright, let's, uh... Let's wander back to Dasinga. I'm sure we have time. Or not Dasinga, Dorstad. Okay, here we are outside Dasinga. Uh, I figure we'll wrap things up here, and in the next episode we'll start off by defending the village. Hopefully these 25 men that I have recruited will be enough. You never know, though. <laughs> we just have to hope and pray that we're better than Sven, because he's been hyped up to be a pretty serious dude, isn't, hasn't he? So, fingers crossed. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. So, as always, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Your support really does mean a lot. And I will see all of you in the next episode.